Prince Charles has been in regular contact with Prince Harry to provide emotional and financial support despite being hurt by the book revelations. Charles uses funds from his Duchy of Cornwall to part, partly fund Harry's LA lifestyle. Father and son bond remains strong despite recent revelations in Finding Freedom. This is critically important, okay? Uh, my narcissist was able to completely isolate me from everyone. I was a leader in the church. I was in touch with, you know, hundreds of people and literally all the time. She was able to completely isolate me from all of them. And then she was able to completely isolate me from my family. Wow. I, I still, she's like Svengali. I still don't really know how she did it. I just live in terror that it could ever happen again. Uh, so it is really important that Harry is in touch with his family, that he is in touch with Charles. And the major way that they do this is they, they make you unpalatable palatable to them. So all of these accusations, accusations, accusations against the royal family, blaming Will, blaming Charles, saying nasty things about his family, that all hurts Harry, but it doesn't hurt Meghan because that's not her family. Okay, so that's how she's doing it. Uh, so I, it's really important if Harry's ever going to be able to come back because if I'm a betting man, okay, I'm going to bet the house that Harry and Meghan are going to divorce. Okay, I'm going to bet the house because that's a sure bet. Okay, so the, the question really is, when will Harry return? Okay, and if she can keep him away from his family long enough and, and alienate him from his family enough, then she makes it almost impossible for him to come back. And that's why this is so important. So I want to take a look at this today. I want to see if the relationship between Harry, Harry and Charles is still strong. I see them really throwing Harry under the bus now to get him to turn around. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Is Harry in regular contact with, with, with Charles? Uh, I see... William in the cards being very upset at Harry, you know, right now, not wanting to talk to him. So if he's regularly chatting with Charles, this is good. I mean, Charles is still paying. He's still supporting them, which that's a very good sign. So the relationship is not broken. Uh, but... Uh, Megan has Harry attacking everything British, everything royal, uh, and, you know, everything the royal family stands for, Megan is against and is attacking. So, and she's got Harry doing it. And the most recent thing is, you know, let's censor all social media. How is this different than the censorship that is going on in YouTube? Anything that the left wing doesn't like or agree with, they just censor it. That is not America. That is not Western civilization. Western civilization is built on free speech and American civilization is based on the right to defend yourself with arms. So free speech and arms. So are Harry and, and Charles in regular contact? Because this is the key to Harry being able to come back. Are they in regular contact? You know, hmm. And I kind of want to know if it's positive contact because that that kind of is suggested. Oh dear. Are Harry and Charles in regular contact? Mustard seed is messages back and forth. Scapegoat. Far away, cast out, nine and seven, finger of God, 16, four spades, coffin. So, from outside, message, he's like sending, it doesn't look like this is direct contact. This looks like Harry sends messages through others. And the relationship, this is... Uh, Scapegoat is the sickness card. Scapegoat is the cast out card. So this looks to me like Harry is sending messages through others. He's not speaking directly to Charles. There's no two here. There's a bunch of people involved. They speak through social media. 
And Star Bethlehem can be a whole lot of people. There's just a lot of people involved. They're not speaking directly. That's bad. Executioner, Cornerstone, and Inheritance. 23, 27, Cross. So the permanent family cut off from the foundation and the royal family. So Harry is cut off. Uh, they are not speaking directly. They are not having a warm relationship. This is the only heart. Harry and Charles are not having a warm relationship. I also see in the cards, cards that, uh, that William uh, is not interested in talking to Harry at this point. So let's do uh, Charles and Harry. Let's ask it another way. How good is their relationship? Because Charles is allegedly supporting Harry emotionally and financially. We do know that he's supporting him financially, but if, if the emotional connection is not there, that financial connection is also going to end. And that's what we're getting at. This is actually very, very, very important for Harry. But once the finance is cut off, once the tap of the finances turns off, maybe Harry will come back because he's, I mean, you got to live. Charles and Harry. Charles. Harry. Is Charles supporting Harry emotionally? What's their relationship? Charles Hightower, isolated, official, decisions, and cutting. Six and nine, 15, four clubs. So, Hightower is an isolation card. The damsel in distress, you know, goes up to the top of the Hightower and waves her hanky save me, save me. And she's so far away that uh, she's really hard to reach. Uh, usually the knight has to go through a dragon and then scale the tower or whatever, or somehow get into that tower. So he is, this is alone and official. They're officially, it's very, there's no hearts here. There's only one heart here. It's, there's a hearts up here and only one heart here. Harry has a heart. And underneath, there's hearts. Fourteen, four diamonds. This is just pure kindness. They're not feeling it. They're just being good to him. And it's... Roses can definitely be virtue signaling. Okay, for the public, they're being good to Harry uh, because they want the public to see it. What's on Harry's side? Secrets, three blackbirds. He's doing... He's following his heart. Harry is following his part. 10, 11, three clubs. I'm not sure what this, what is this secrets card here? Keeping his heart hidden and he's doing the work. So it looks like, yeah. So a lot of secrets and underhanded stuff going on here. Charles is supporting Harry officially. He's not feeling it. A decision, sort of a corporate decision is made or an official decision. You know, we're going to support Harry for another year. Okay, we're going to give him enough rope to hang himself. And boy, is he hanging himself. Harry is, you know, doing charitable acts from the heart. So his actions are from the heart. But maybe he's not feeling it. You know, that's not the truth. It's just every... Looks like Charles is just doing this officially. He's not feeling it. They want to appear as angels to the public. Uh, you know, they don't want to appear as cruel or mean or... And they definitely don't want the R word thrown at them. Bigotry, sexism. They don't want any of this. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if Harry... Let's just ask. Is Harry's heart... In what he's doing is Harry is Harry's heart in what he's doing Let's find out or is this you know because there's a secret here is Harry's heart in what he's doing because I definitely see Megan manipulating him and 
I wonder, you know, some others believe that he's like a double agent. He's so far woke. He's so into the woke business. I don't know. Is his heart in it? Is Harry's heart in what he's doing? There's money. Key is money. Is Harry's heart in what he's doing? Uh, work, water into wine, transforming work very publicly. 18, five diamonds. Uh, he's trying to see, you know, he's doing work to see what he's transformed his work hmm, very publicly. And it's definitely for the money. He's trying to gin up some money. So Megan has convinced him that uh, this is where the money's at. And for for the right people, this is where the money's at. I'm not sure Harry is the right people to make money in the woke business. So I asked, is his heart in it? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. No, it's about the money. Yeah. So Megan is manipulating him and has convinced him that this is where the money is. And if he's going to be separate uh, from the royal family, he's got to generate some serious money. So it's the key is the money. It's all about the money for Harry. So she's kind of just convinced him that this is the right way to go. But his heart, he's, you know, he, he's not, his heart is not in it. Whereas Megan, as Megan is, I think Megan is a narcissist and she's wearing a mask. So as much as possible, this is, Megan is really throwing everything into it. And that's a way, that's another way of saying she's putting her heart into it. Harry's not throwing himself into it. He's just kind of taking another step. Megan has convinced him to take another step. And he wants to see if there's money there. And if there's not money there, Harry's going to walk away. And I think he'll, hopefully he'll go back to the royal family. What is Charles's reaction to Finding Freedom, which just came out? Okay, so big hullabaloo about that. We're going to have to do some more reading on that. What is Charles's reaction to Finding Freedom? Devil. What do we have for Charles's reaction to Finding Freedom? Devil. Very mean-spirited. Will do anything. Working every 7 and 11, 18, on an ongoing basis, working everything together just to destroy the family. Okay, so he feels that the lie, you know, and the devil will lie. He feels that the things that are put in, Charles feels that the things that are in Finding Freedom are just lies and she'll do anything to hurt the family. She's like on the warpath. So he's very upset about it. And I think they're going to come straight out and say, this is a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. These are lies. That's what the devil is about. Because she's working everything together to hurt this family. Uh, because if Megan wins, you lose. And if Megan wins, Harry lose, loses. If Megan wins, the royal family loses. So that's what she's doing. What's underneath? Manifesting... 2527 cross permanent family manifesting connection to the family. She's doing it all through her connection to the royal family. Hmm. Underneath, it's all about her connection to the royal family, but it's completely toxic and poisonous. Is Charles going to cut off support, cut off financial support at the end of the trial? Or maybe just, you know, curtail it, cut it in half, cut it in a fourth. Uh, because they don't have enough to pay for their security. Uh, that security is so ridiculously expensive because, you know, he's a, he's a, Harry and Meghan and Archie are juicy targets for kidnapping or other terrorist, you know, statements. So, which is a real thing. Is Charles going to cut off support uh, at the end? of the one-year trial. Mm. Charles is going to cut off support at the end of the one-year trial. Well, we have the two cleverest cards in the deck. 
We have the snake and the fox, 24, 34, nine diamonds. So snake and fox, and very emotional. So behind is very emotional, and then lying in the, in the path underneath and really calculating. So, hmm. This is the cup overflowing is the is kind of the opposite of these two very clever cards. So based on emotional reasons, so they're playing emotion cards. Okay, Megan is always playing emotion cards, but she's a fox and a snake. So I think uh, Charles is playing the emotional cards. But they're planning very far into the future, and they're going to be very, very clever about it. But they're going to blame, you know, uh, emotional things. Well, you know, because of the worldwide bug, we just got a lot less money, and we can't afford to support Harry since he's not a royal. We need to support the royal things. What's underneath? Eight and four, twelve, three spades. Connected by a bad relationship constantly and constant conflict. So, yeah, underneath the relationship is really bad. So what I'm seeing here overall is, you know, looking at this one, Charles and, and, and Harry and Charles are not speaking directly. They're not speaking. This is a really bad day. This is bad. Okay, they're speaking through others, uh, and there's a lot of people involved, and Harry is completely cut off from direct contact with Charles right now, and William is very upset at, Char at, at Harry, and Kate is very upset at Harry. So Harry is actually completely cut off. That is, that's what I was after. Okay, has Megan the narcissist completely cut Harry off? Yes. He is not in direct contact with Charles or anyone in the royal family right now. Very, very, very bad. Very bad. Okay, that's, that's worst case scenario because she can manipulate him. And that's why we see him coming out against social media, the ultimate woke speak. Because she's managed to completely isolate him from his family. That's really bad. Okay, Charles and Harry looking at how emotionally supportive it is. He's completely separated in the high tower. And these are official decisions. And Harry, he, he's just keeping his feelings to himself. And then I asked, is Harry's heart in what he's doing? No, he's just trying to see if there's money there. So Harry's going along with Meghan's plan because he's cut off from Meghan. And the royal family just wants to look like angels. This is all virtue signaling angelic stuff. For the royal family. So Harry's got a bad relationship with Charles right now. That is really boding poorly for the future. What's Charles' reaction to finding freedom? It's just like all lies. He feels like it's all lies. He's incredibly angry. Uh, and she's just trying to hurt the family. And everything she's doing is just this toxic connection to the family and you have to break this toxic connection to, to stop all this business. And then she still won't stop. She's still going to attack them because that's what she has. Uh, is Charles going to cut off financial support in the future? I think yes. I think they are planning, 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 but they're going to say it's all emotionally based. But it's really based on the bad relationships. Yeah, so... I, it's not clear that they're going to cut off, but they're definitely planning for it. They're definitely planning a cutoff in the future. Oh, dear. Yeah. It's, Harry's situation is poor. Meghan's situation is what it is, and it's just going to keep going the way it is for Meghan. But Harry's situation, I think, is much worse. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, the Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.